Check this out. This is great. It was a way to awesome future. Started in the 80s. A spaceship showing movies. Nobody wanted to see. A guy named Joel. So the guy is in space, but with the movie theater on the spaceship. Pretty crazy, right? and the robot puppets just watch and talk about the movie. Well, I, well they make fun of it. I, <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's a pretty thin premise. Mostly it's just an excuse to make smart ass comments during really bad films. So why do you like this? I don't know. You got another still life. Yep. Another gift. It's a little too much like an exercise for my taste. But my daughter loves that kind of thing. Are you still painting, Jenna? I mean, it's okay if you're not. You just had mentioned wanting to start again. Well... Lately, it's hard. Oh? How so? Jenna! Hey! I need you to crunch these numbers for me. Um, somehow we gotta reduce this travel budget by 50% without reducing the total number of flights. Uh, oh, and I need it by the end of the day. Um... <clears throat> Roger? Yes? This is mathematically impossible. Oh, you'll figure it out. You always do. Thanks for stepping up. So, it's a problem with your work. So it's a problem with your roommate. Well... I think your mom's got lactose intolerance. Lactose intolerance. Look it up.
Yeah. That does sound pretty annoying. But I still don't think we're getting to the root of the problem. I mean, based on our past conversations, painting was something that was a release from all these other things going on in your life. Well, maybe it isn't anymore. All right. So what's changed? Oh, hey, Jenna, look who I brought. What's her name? Mm, I don't actually know. We're here with your roommate, and we were just talking about how terrible your painting is. <laughs> it is so stiff. I mean, it's not even technically sound. You think that's stiff? Try holding a conversation with her. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> There's paint spilling all over the canvas. It's like she couldn't even find the canvas. <laughs> oh, uh, newsflash? It's right there. <laughs> oh. And what was she thinking with that color combination? Mm. I mean, at the very least, you could have exhibited proper shading or texture. Mm. <laughs> well, I... Oh, don't even bother. And don't try to use the whole junior high artistic license defense. <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anyone. No, not at all. What's I can't wait to stand up on the street. <laughs> Mom and Dad must be so proud. <laughs> 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 Has anything even remotely similar to that scenario ever actually happened? Um, well, no. Okay. How do people typically respond to your work? Hey, so I wanted to tell you that I, I like the paintings in your apartment. Um, thanks. Did you paint them? Some of them. Well, you're very good. I heard that you painted some of the ones on the walls in the coffee shop. Um, yeah. The one by the window and the one behind the cash register. You know, I, I could build you a website for your paintings, you know, to help you get the word out. It's okay. You don't need to do that. Oh, I, I know. Just saying. I could. You know, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm really good at web design. Really, thanks, Chris, but I'm good. Okay. But you know, I'm just saying, if, if you ever wanted a website, You know, it's okay to take credit for being good at something. At the same token, you are not responsible for pointing out everything that's wrong with what you do. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So what should I do? Do you still enjoy painting? And you should just paint. What if people don't like it? 
Well, you don't have to show it to them. What if I don't like it? Then you can paint something else. I have a feeling you'd be really happy if you do. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you like the show. Okay, so listen, down below comment and let us know how did you find out about the show? Where did you hear about us? We'd love to know. And then also, if you wanna tell us something about yourself, go to our Facebook page. You can tell us who you are, what your life is like, if you have any experiences with social anxiety or tips to share. We'll be posting information from TED Talks and just different stuff. We can all get to know each other. So come to the Facebook page. Um, also. Please make sure you like us and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And then that way you'll know when all of the videos are coming out. And as a matter of fact, the next one's coming out March 14th, March 14th, March 14th, March 14th. So we'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.